Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to use Mesh Tool in Adobe Illustrator. To better understand I chose to create an apple using Mesh Tool. On the left we have the apple that we will use as a model. We will select the pen tool to create an apple shape and color it with a color of your choice. Using the pen tool, we will create the top of the apple. We chose to create two shapes because it will be much easier for us to create the hole where the apple tail comes from. Then we will select one of the shapes and go to the mesh tool. We will click on the shape and we will notice that every time we click, two lines will appear that intersect in the middle. If we click on the same line again we will see that only one line will appear. We will create five vertical lines and six horizontal lines. Then we will move to the smaller shape on which we will create 6 vertical and 2 horizontal lines. Next we will create 5 squares that we will color in shades of red, from the darkest to the lightest. Then we will select the direct selection tool and click on the points that intersect the lines. Initially the dots are small and empty squares. When we click on them they will fill up, which means that they are selected. If we want to select more points we can do this by holding down shift. So we will select the desired points and then we will color them with the colors already selected. We will start by coloring the right side of the apple. We will color this part with the dark red. To color a point we will click on it, and then we will go to the eyedropper tool and we will click on the square with the darkest red. The closer we get to the center of the apple, the lighter the colors will be. We will constantly keep the real photo of the apple as a reference picture. We will continue to color the dots until we are satisfied with the result. After we have finished with the fruit part we will move on to the tail and the leaf. We will use the same technique for both the tail and the leaf. We can add as many details as we want but I chose to use as few as possible to make you understand better.
Then we will create a circle over which we will use the mesh tool as well. We will create a single dot in the middle that we will color in light yellow. We will click on the outer points and then we will go to opacity and we will change it to zero. Then we will shrink the circle and place it on top of the apple. Using Shift plus Alt and left click we will create copies of the circle and spread them on the surface of the apple. We will also change their opacity as desired. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new tutorial. If you want to make a specific tutorial, do not hesitate to write in the comments section.